Are you struggling to consistently get customers through Google Ads? Well, after running Google Ads successfully for over 10 years, I realized the most successful ads usually only follow one very simple framework. And it was only after my clients started using this framework that they were able to build six figure businesses fast, all without having to spend thousands of dollars on ads. So today I'm gonna to show you the number one mistake that people make, which results in thousands of dollars of wasted ad spend so you can avoid flushing your hard earned money down the toilet. And also a sneaky little known trick that could double your conversion rates at no extra cost. And I'm also gonna show you the simple framework that allows any business to consistently get new clients while saving you time, money, and stress. Okay, so to start, let me show you inside a live Google ad account of a local business which has been generating leads consistently for about a year. So here we are in this live Google ad account. As you can see, the ads have been running for close to a year and our blue line are clicks and the red line are conversion. And as you can see, a consistent flow of leads month in, month out. So in order for you to get similar results, we really need to lift the lid on this account to understand what is really going on here, which is driving the results. So first step, in order for your ads to, to successfully bring you leads who wanna buy and are not tire kickers, you need to get the right ad in front of the right person. But how do you do that? So let me first by start by asking you this question. If someone goes to Google and types in Dentist Sydney and they see an ad for a dentist, but also an ad for an electrician, which ad do you think they're actually gonna click on? The dentist, right? Why? Because they're looking for a dentist and not an electrician. We know this, they've literally just typed this into Google. So this might sound obvious, but how about this scenario? Someone goes to Google and types in teeth whitening dentist and they see an ad talking about root canal treatment. Do you think they're likely to click on the ad that talks about root canal? Probably not, right? They're looking for teeth whitening, not root canal. So success with Google ad is all about ad relevance and matching the ad copy with the intent, which is what they've actually typed into Google. Now, this might sound obvious, but many people stumble here because it's not immediately clear and obvious of how to align your ads with search intent. So how do you know if your ads are aligned? Well, let me show you real quick in a screen share. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into your live Google ad account. You wanna click on a campaign and maybe even one of your ad groups. And then you wanna head over to the insights and reports section and go to the search term reports. So these are the terms that people actually typed into Google, which triggered your ad. So you wanna scan through these search terms and see if these terms are a match for the ad that they were shown. So to make sure that the right ad is shown for the right query, you need to structure your campaigns the right way. That is ensuring that the ad groups have very tightly themed keywords so that the ad attached to the group of those keywords is relevant. So now that you've conquered step one, let's dive into the next crucial part, especially if you're a local business swimming in a sea of competitors. In competitive niches, you need your ad to dominate the digital landscape, grabbing attention before your rivals even get a chance. The good news, it's super easy to do and it doesn't cost you a dime extra. Imagine your ad like a billboard on a busy highway. The bigger it is, the more people notice, especially if it's the only billboard on the highway. That's what we're aiming for on the digital highway, maximum visibility. By enabling the ad assets, which have call buttons, images, and even ads in the Google Maps, you can push your competitor ads further down the page. On a mobile device, this setup can make your ad the only ad that a potential customer sees, filling their entire screen, much like this. So to achieve this, you need to enable all possible ad assets. Simply dive into your ad assets and activate as many assets as make sense for your business. By this, I mean the location assets. This will give you ads in the Google Maps, image extensions, site links, callouts. This strategy ensures your ad takes up the maximum real estate, making it impossible to miss. 
And the next critical part is the difference between making your phone ring with people ready to book an appointment or just people clicking on your ad and costing you money and doing absolutely nothing. We don't want those people. So let me ask you this other question. Imagine you're running a dental practice and investing Google ads to attract new patients. Now, here's the million dollar question. Would you rather appear in front of someone who types in just the word dentist or dentist near me into Google? Think about that for a second. Think about the difference of intent. Which search phrase screams, I'm ready to book an appointment right now. I've got my phone in hand. If you're leaning towards dentists near me, well, you are absolutely spot on. This searcher is actively searching for a dentist, ready to make that call, ready to be seen straight away. It's like they're standing outside your door, phone in hand, eager to step in. On the flip side, someone searching for just the single keyword dentist might be on a different mission entirely. They could be researching what a dentist does for a job. Or really the point is no one really knows. They're in browsing mode and we don't want to pay for those clicks. So in order to make your phone ring with potential patients ready to book or potential leads who are going to convert to customers, you need to think like them. You need to ask yourself this question. What are they typing into Google when they're poised and ready to take action? And you want to focus your ad spend on those high intent keywords and watch your appointments soar. If you're struggling to think of what those high intent keywords are, an amazing source of intel on this is your search term report that I was showing you earlier on in this video. This is what people actually typed into Google, which triggered your ad. So let me show you real quick with a quick screen share. So go into your live Google ad account, click on one of the campaigns and under insights and reports, go to this search term report. Now here, as you know, are all the terms of what people actually typed in. But what I want you to do is I want you to click on this conversions column and this will rank by conversion. So these are all the terms which resulted in people actually contacting you. So you want more keywords like this. You want to appear for more phrases like this. So these are, this is very good intel of what is currently working. And the next thing I want you to do is to rank by, by ad spend and find out which terms spent a lot of money that did not result in a conversion. And therefore, these are the terms which are wasting you money. And you could think about adding those terms as possible negative keywords to prevent further wasted ad spend. And lastly, if you're looking at these search terms and wondering how and why some of those search terms got in there, well, possibly you may have the wrong match type of keyword. So I urge you to check out this other video of mine, which walks you through the different keyword match types. I'll also put a link in the description to this video. So definitely check out this video as it will help you reduce any money that you may be burning on the wrong traffic. And if you want to learn further how to optimize your Google ad account, I'm also going to put a link in the description to our free audit checklist, which you can download for free, which provides a whole list of items that you need to check in your Google ad account to help you optimize so you can do more of what is working and less of what is not working and get more and more benefit from your Google ad account. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Thanks for watching.